The second lesson of this oceanography was ocean waves. So when I was explaining you about wave, I told you this up and down, up and down. This is actually any kind of wave, not only the ocean wave, any kind of wave will definitely have a crest, which is at the top, the trough, which is at the bottom. The difference between two crests is wavelength, okay? And the, the difference from here, from here, half, if you come half of way, if you come halfway from here till here, this is called the amplitude. That's what they're saying. If you come halfway till here, this is called till here. This is called the amplitude. So you have wavelength, you have wave amplitude, you have crest and you have trough. So this is a clear picture. And let us see how they explain it. Time at the beach. Jacob loves to surf. When he finds the perfect wave crest, he hops on his board and rides the wave to shore. His sister, Sarah, is a bodyboarder. She waits for the wave to break. Uh -huh. They are not showing us the same page. Wave speed. A mechanical wave is a disturbance in a solid, liquid, or gas that transmits energy through matter. Ocean waves are mechanical waves. This is a diagram of an ocean wave. Click the parts of the diagram to learn more about the parts of ocean waves. So these are the ocean waves and we have crest. We have the top one is the crest. The bottom one is the trough. Please girls, listen to this carefully. The difference between them is wavelength and the half of this is called as amplitude. Come on. Now let me just draw here. And uh, what can you see on the screen? What can you see on the screen? All right. Zishan, can you tell me where is crest? What um, is <laughs> This one, this one. This is number one. This is number two. And what is number one? Tell me. Number two. Number one. What is it called? Um. Uh, is it crest or trough? Number one. Is it crest or trough? Miss, I can't hear. What do you say? You have to choose these words, girls. Where is crest? Where is trough? And where is wavelength? And where is amplitude? These four things. Wavelength? One minute. Let me just also make, yeah. Uh, where is wavelength? And where is uh, amplitude? Okay. I will ask you, Zishan, tell me where is. Crest, C R E S T. Number one, number two, three or four. Yes? The second one, number two. Strong. Number one, the up one is C. Remember, the up one is crest. Okay? Judy, where is the trough? Judy? Um. Which picture is the trough? Number one, number two, three, or four? Noor, where is the trough? It's four. You mean the distance between from here to here is called trough? Listen to me carefully. The number it's wavelength. That is, see, 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 wait a minute. Do you see this curve, girls? Do you see this curve? Up? This curve, the top is called the crest. This is number one. And then when you see the down, this is called the trough. This is number two. And when you see the distance between two crests, because the top, the two top, that is called wavelength. And this distance, half, half, till here, it's called amplitude. This is very important. That's why I know when I was explaining, nobody will listen. That's why I came back to this and explained you on the white screen. C 
see this again. The wavelength is the distance from any point on a wave to an identical point on the next wave. In this case, the wavelength is shown as measured from crest to crest. The highest point in a wave is known as the crest. Crests are present in all ocean waves. The amplitude of a wave measures the distance from the resting level of the wave to the crest. The greater the amplitude of the wave, the more energy the wave has. The trough is the lowest part of a wave. Like the wave crest, the trough is present in all ocean waves. Wave speed is related to wavelength and wave period. As you learned, wavelength is the distance from any point on one wave to the identical... Now, girls, if I draw this way, if I draw this wave, this wave like this, you know, if you have more, yani, very less distance between the both of the wave, if you have very less distance between both, that means the wavelength to the next wave is very small. And if the wavelength is very small, you will have more waves. And when you have more waves, okay, you, it will be more faster. This buoy remains stationary with respect to the coast. As waves pass by, the wave period is the amount of time it takes for one complete wave to pass the buoy. For example, the time measured from one trough at the buoy to the next trough at the buoy is the wave period. Oceanographers often use buoys to measure wave speeds and amplitudes. So this is a device which is called as a buoy that measures the wave period. These waves are much closer together. See, they have a short wavelength and short wave period, meaning that it takes less time for two neighboring crests to pass the buoy. The two distance is very small. That's why it takes very, very less time to pass the buoy. Imagine how fast it is going. These waves are much closer together. They have a short wavelength and short wave period, meaning that it takes less time for two neighboring crests to pass the buoy. An ocean wave speed is the measure of how fast it travels through the water. Wave speed can be determined by dividing the wavelength by the wave period. Therefore, when the wavelength increases or the wave period decreases, the wave speed increases. Let's use an example to try to calculate wave speed. Suppose the wavelength of this wave is 6 meters. The wave period of this wave is 2 seconds. What is the wave speed of this wave? If you answered 3 meters per second, you're correct. See, wavelength, they give you a 6 meters, and the period, they give you 2 seconds, like it passed in 2 seconds. When you divide them, 6 over 2, of course, your answer is 3 meters per second. That means the boy is moving 3 meters in 1 second. It's going very fast. With that, you will know that uh, how fast the wave is moving. Here is a list of terms and a list of definitions or relationships for waves. Drag each term to the correct definition or relationship. Come on, get ready. Uh, first question, Zishan. Yes. Where is the crest? Where should I put? Is it the highest point or the lowest point? The highest? Excellent. It is the highest point. Very good. Okay. Dana is there? Dana? Okay. You tell me if... Uh, high Dana? Point, uh, yes, Dana. Where is the trough? The um, top is the yeah. crest. So where is the trough? Uh, yeah. 
Number one. Which one? Um, the distance between interlocking points or? No, trough is the lowest point. Again, I say that not the oh. top one. See, here you have seen the top. This is the top, like top peak of the mountain. This is always called as crest. The, the down one, it's very important girls. Grade seven girls must know this. The down one, what you see, this is called the trough. The top is called the crest. The down, it is called a trough. Okay, crest and trough. The distance between two crests, what is it girls? Or, or tell me where is the wave period? What is the wave period? Noor? The time it takes. Wave period, the time it takes, a completely waved wave, excellent. Okay, tell me where is amplitude? Amplitude girls? It increases when um, the distance increases. No. The distance. Yes. From the resting level to the highest point. Wavelength, the distance between two identical points, that is neighboring waves. Wave speed is increases when the wave That's speed correct. increases. You were able to match each term to the correct description. So we must know these words at least the crest, top, the trough, it is the bottom. Distance between the two waves, the top ones, it is called the wavelength. Half distance, the distance from the wave resting level to the highest point. This is the resting level. You see the white line? To the highest point is the amplitude. The time it takes to complete a wave is a wave period. Wave speed increases when the wave period decreases. Very, very important, girls. This is a very important concept of physical science or of science, which you will again learn in grade eight and grade nine. You must know these basics. When you go to grade eight, you must know these basics. These are the skills. You've learned that mechanical waves transfer energy through matter and that ocean waves are mechanical waves. Click the images to learn more about ocean waves. So let us learn more about Here we can see a cross section of an ocean wave. Recall that in a mechanical wave, the energy needs to travel through a medium, such as a solid, liquid, or gas. Water is the medium for ocean waves. When you throw a pebble into a pond, the energy from the disturbance ripples out in all directions. In a ripple or a wave, energy is transmitted through the water. You know, like example, you throw a stone and you see these ripples? You call them waves or ripples. Ever wonder why waves can get so big when there is a hurricane? The waves are so big because wind is the main cause of waves. Wave size is affected by the strength of the wind gust, the duration of the wind gust, and the distance over the water that the wind blows. The harder, longer, and farther the wind blows, the higher the wave that will form. Given the right conditions, waves can be over 15 meters tall. Oh my God, can you imagine it can be 15 meters tall? They're not talking about centimeters, 15 meters tall. Tides and currents also have an effect on the size of waves. Strong currents and high tides can add height to waves. Waves can form in other ways as well. For example, Underwater earthquakes can cause ocean surface waves. Underwater earthquakes shift part of the ocean floor, displacing a large volume of water, which causes waves, tsunamis, on the ocean surface. Underwater landslides, volcanic eruptions, or the impact of a meteorite or asteroid can also cause disturbances in the water, producing waves. This plume of ash was created by an underwater volcano. This was from underwater volcano. 